Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy, and this is my first layout using the October kit. So first I'm just going to take this stencil from MFT, and I'm going to tape it down with some post-it tape. I'm going to take this Ranger texture paint, and I'm going to apply a very thin layer of it. I'm not trying to make it perfect or anything, and I will also, once this dries, move it over to the right and put some more so that it covers like the whole middle of the layout. And in the meantime, I'm going to map my photos. This is a picture of a dog who adopted us. Um, we were coming home last night, and we stopped to see if he had a collar, and he didn't. And then he tried to get in our car, and we were like, no. And then he followed us home, and he hasn't left since, and that was a day ago. So we've posted everywhere we can think of to try to find an owner for him. He's super sweet, but he's just too big for our house and... We don't have a fenced-in backyard, so I don't know what we're going to do, but he's adorable. So I wanted to just take this opportunity to document it because he's just so sweet. So I'm just going through the pattern papers and creating some layers to put behind the photograph. And I'm going to also mat this on some I used watercolor paper, and it's it comes in a piece of 12 by 18. So when I cut it off, I have this extra, and I just liked that it would be kind of a tone-on-tone -tone look. This is a very simple layout. There's not a lot of embellishing to it, and I just wanted the texture of the watercolor paper to kind of, with that stenciling on it, to kind of be the focus. So you'll see, and in, in the end, you'll see me do it in the video, but you're not going to see it in the final pictures. I do end up cutting down the 12 by 12 piece of watercolor paper and um, backing it on that wood grain. But in the meantime, I'm taking this cut apart sheet from Maggie Holmes open book and I'm all those little words there. I'm cutting that out and then off camera, I'm going to cut them all up individually. And when I come back, you'll see all the little pieces. They're really cute. I'm also going to cut out this little green or teal, um, says photograph by, I think, but I thought it was a nice spot for journaling. I don't end up using it, but it's really cute. So I'm just kind of figuring out what I'm going to do. And I place some of these embellishments around and I end up keeping what's on the bottom right hand corner, but I change everything else. <laughs> so you'll see when I come back what I, what it looks like. So I'm just going to, here's those, all those little pieces. Here are all the little pieces I cut up. I'm just going to take my watercolor paper because now that's dry and it's hard to see the texture in the video but you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So I'm just gonna adhere the top two layers together and then I'll use my glue gun for the rest. So I'm kind of arranging everything. I'm gonna use these words um, from that set of thickers to say, hey friend. I just think it's so cute. And then I'm kind of going through these cork embellishments from Ellie's studio. They're really, really cute to see if I wanna use any of them. I don't end up using any of them, but they do look cute on here. I just wanted to keep this layout really simple, like I said, and let the kind of texture from that texture paste um, be the focus. So I'm just taking my glue gun now and adhering these pieces down, these layers. And it gives what I like about a glue gun is that it gives the it gives it some dimension without as much dimension as like if you used foam adhesive. So I pre-attached those little embellishments. I just used my Tim Holtz um, tiny attacher and then I'm gonna put this friend right over top of them and I really like the way that that looks. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue in places where it's not held down very well. And then I'm gonna pick that up because I think it's a little bit crookedy. You can see there when I picked up the layout the texture that that um, stenciling gave the background. I really love creating backgrounds. I've done it in a few of my videos um, with stencils, with different mediums. Sometimes I use mist, sometimes I use an ink pad, sometimes I use texture paste. It's just, it's a lot of fun and I think it, it really stretches your pattern paper because you don't end up using a lot of pattern paper. So I thought about adding um, a tag, but I ended up just putting this little sticker that says, love this. And then I'm going to add the little, this little cork arrow. And in the upper right-hand corner, I do a couple of different things first. And then I settle on using three of those little words that I cut up. Um, I don't have my layout right in front of me. But they say together, 
love this and documented maybe or together a favorite moment and documented I can't remember but I don't end up using that floral one or that cork you'll see in a second what I end up taking it all off after I've put down glue with a glue gun and I was like oh, why did I do that but it's okay I end up saving it So you can see me there taking it off and getting as much as I can off, but I couldn't save it all. So what does that say? A favorite moment. And then together and recorded. That's what it is. So that is going to finish up this layout. I don't think I add anything else to it. There's going to be some close-ups, but like I said, you can see there that it has that um, background paper, but it doesn't end the pictures. So here's what it looks like. Thanks guys so much for watching, and check out the October hip kit. Bye.